This is the solution to written homework 23. So part A is a quadratic, uh, and we're told to solve by factoring. Okay, so then <coughs> we'll use the grouping method. So we want to find a factorization of 8 multiplied by negative 9, which is negative 72. And we want the sum of those factors to be 6. Okay, so how about negative 1 and 72? Uh, that'd be 71. Okay, that's definitely not going to work. Negative 2 and uh, 36. So that'd be 34. Okay, that's, that's not going to work. So let's try it maybe a bigger number, so how about um, <coughs> negative 6 and 12 because 6 times 10 is 60 and another 6 times 2 is 72 so that would be 6 okay that's what we were looking for <coughs> so we found the number the numbers that we were looking for and so as a result of this table, we'll group in the following way. So this is 8x squared uh, minus 6x plus 12x minus 9 equal to 0. And then group like this, so 8x squared minus 6x, this group, and then plus 12x minus 9 is 0. So now out of this group we can factor out 2x. So doing that, that would be 4x minus 3. <coughs> and then out of this group we can factor 3. So 4x minus 3. And notice, notice that uh, 4x minus 3 has occurred in both positions. So we see it's, it's occurred here and there. And that's good. We like that. Because that means we probably did something right. So 4x minus 3 can be factored out. <coughs> it's a common factor. And the 2x and the 3 go in. So we've factored this equation, and the products, we, we factored this expression, and the product is equal to 0. So as a result, we know that 2x plus 3 is 0, or 4x minus 3 is 0. Solving this one, move the 3 to the other side and divide by 2. That would be x is negative 3 halves. Or move the 3 to the other side and divide by 4. x is 3 fourths. Okay, so part b says solve by completing the square. <laughs> okay. So take all the terms with y on the left hand side and all the terms without y I'll move to the right hand side now to complete the square we need the uh, leading coefficient to be mo we need the leading coefficient to be 1 which is to say we need this to be monic so we'll factor out 
uh, the 3, or even we can just divide by 3, to obtain y squared minus 4y is 17 over 3. So now it's monic. Now we'll do the add 0 thing. So this would be y squared minus 4y, and then plus something over 2 squared minus the same something over 2 squared, 17 over 3. So what goes in that numerator is always this coefficient. Negative 4, negative 4. Okay, so negative 4 over 2 is negative 2 squared, that is 4. So what we're saying is we find it expedient to add 4 and then subtract 4. <coughs> and the reason why that's expedient is because now notice that these first three terms. factor into a perfect square. So y minus 2 squared and then minus 4 is 17 over 3. So now move the 4 to the other side. So moving that to the other side and taking it as thirds, I guess I'll do it in two steps. So this would be y minus 2 squared is 17 over 3 plus 4. Okay, adding these together, that would be 3 times 4 is 12, uh, plus 17 is 29 thirds. So this would be y minus 2 squared is 29 thirds. The square root of this square root 29 over 3. So the absolute value of y minus 2 is square root 29 over 3. And so, oops. And so, that means that y minus 2 is plus or minus square root of 29 over 3. So y is 2 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 3. And therefore the two solutions are 2 minus the square root of 29 over 3 or 2 plus the square root of 29 over 3. And that's the answer.